Once you set out for Ithaca, hope your road to be long, full of adventures, full of knowledge. Don't be afraid of the Lestergonians and the Cyclops, the angry Poseidon. You will never find them on your way, if you keep your thoughts high, if their excitement touches your spirit and your body. You won't meet the Lestergonians and the Cyclops, the wild Poseidon, unless you bring them along inside your soul, unless your soul puts them in front of you. Hope your road to be long. May there be many summer mornings, when you will enter with pleasure, with joy, the harbors you have seen for the first time. Stop in Phoenician trading stations and get the good words. Pearls and corals, ambers and demony, and sensual herbs of every kind. As many sensual herbs as you can. Go to many Egyptian cities to study and learn from the educated ones. Keep Ithaca always in your mind. Your arrival there is your destiny. But don't rush the journey at all. It better last for many years. And then, when you're old to stay on the island, wealthy with all you've gained on the way, without expecting Ithaca to make you rich. Ithaca gave you the beautiful journey. Without her, you wouldn't have set out. There is nothing else to give you anymore. And if you find her poor, Ithaca hasn't fooled you. Now that you became wise with so much experience, you should have already understood what Ithacas mean.